I thank you, Bob, for a very generous introduction. I would like to thank the Hope Fund for Cancer Res Co Research Committee for awarding me the 2012 Award for Clinical Development. I have to admit that I was surprised to hear that I was awarded a Clinical Development Award because, as Bob mentioned, I have been primarily engaged during my scientific career in exploring fundamental molecular mechanisms that control cell proliferation and differentiation of normal and cancer cells. I was trained in chemistry and physics. I obtained a PhD degree in the field of biophysics on the topic of fluorescent spectroscopy, far away from cancer research. My entry into the field of cancer research began in the mid-70s. I read an interesting scientific article demonstrating that cancer cells require for their proliferation and survival less serum growth factors than normal cells. Intrigued by this observation, I then decided to focus my research on identification and investigation of cell surface receptors that are responsible for the control of cell growth and division, as Bob very nicely described. These studies provided detailed insight for how receptor tausing kinase become activated in normal cells and how mutations in or dysfunction in their regulation and cell signaling play an important role in many human cancers. Led by my curiosity, this research revealed the conceptual foundation for the discovery of a variety of Achilles heels in cancer cells that can be treated by novel targeted therapies. Realizing the medical significance of these discoveries, I founded Sugen, which then led to the development of two successful FDA-approved cancer drugs, Sutent for the treatment of renal cancer, gastrointestinal stroma tumors, and endocrine pancreatic cancers, and Chrysonitib for the treatment of the subtype of non-small cancer, uh, lung carcinoma. I have subsequently founded a second company designated Plexicon, which discovered a novel FDA-approved targeted therapy of, for melanoma, the most deadly skin cancer. Plexicon developed the drug designated Zelbaraf, which selectively targets a mutation that occurs in protein kinase BRAF in nearly 50% of melanoma patients. I would like to emphasize that modern drug development involves a concerted effort of large teams composed of scientists and clinicians with different skill set. Jerry McMahon, who is here, for example, he played a very important role in, in, in development of, of Sutan in Sudan itself. So a lot of people, all different types of skills are required. As new information about cancers causing genetic and molecular mechanism is rapidly accumulating using genomics, proteomics, and other state-of-the-art technology, I hope that my colleagues and I will be able to develop the next new, in the next few years additional new cancer drugs. Finally, the lesson learned from my own experience is that the best approach for breaking new scientific grounds and for discovering new cancer and other drugs is to in invest in people who are solely led by their curiosity, a theme which I heard from the other speakers without really coordinating our, our discussion. Uh, people that are solely led by their curiosity and interested in solving fundament fundamental questions in biomedical research. This, rather than large orchestrated translational effort, is the most efficient way for discovering new cancer drug. Thank you very much.